My name is Janae Tires of Tires Essentials Bath and Body. And today I'm going to be making more of my luxurious shea butter body butter. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about the product before we get started. I've heard a lot of people say that a body butter with any water incorporated is not truly a body butter. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. But for us here at Tires Essentials, we call our body butter body butter because of the texture and the creaminess and the butteriness of the actual product. You'll find that the biggest names in the industry will call their thick, creamy moisturizer or lotion that has water incorporated into their formulas, they will market theirs as body butter because to the consumer, all they really know is that they expect to have a thick, creamy, luxurious product. And we wanna to communicate to our customers what the product is actually going to feel like, what their experience with the product is going to be. Our product is the texture and consistency of a body butter, but because water is introduced to the formula, it is really considered a really thick lotion or um, moisturizer. I just wanted to address that because that question came up quite a lot. So today I'll show you how I get started. I just kind of have everything out on the table. Um, but basically I'm gonna get started with preparing my vessels or jars for the body butter. So I get my vessels from papermart.com. They're here in Orange County, um, not too far away. So when I order my jars, they come literally like the next day, just standard mail. So that is fabulous, you can't beat that. I'm gonna go ahead and open these. I just got these in not too long ago. And we're gonna get our jars prepared first. So let's see how they come. So it looks like we've got a ton of lids here, perfect. So these cute little, cute little jars come individually wrapped and I love that because that keeps all the little dust particles and things out of them. When they're just shipped in like one big bag all together, I feel like inevitably dust particles are gonna get into the jars, which will get into my product. I'm gonna prepare like six jars worth of body butter today. Six minutes, perfect. So now that we have our lids all out, we're gonna take each jar and we're going to give it a little bit of sterilization so i just have a little bit of rubbing alcohol in each one of my jars and i'm going to keep them in their little plastic bag so when i handle them i don't get like oil and stuff all over the the outside so i'm just going to spray the inside with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and i'm going to spray the jars lids too even though we're cleaning these jars out, I'm still going to use a preservative because anything with water added to the recipe can potentially mold. And you guys, I've seen it. I've tried it, I've experimented with it. Don't waste your product. Don't waste your precious ingredients. It does happen. We're gonna use a cosmetic grade preservative, okay? So some people have asked me, you know, can you use like vitamin E oil or, you know, honey or beeswax or all kind of, you know, things that they've maybe have found on the internet that could be used as a preservative. But you guys, that really is not gonna work. If you're gonna be making something and you're gonna be using these wonderful butters and creating this luxurious body butter, please preserve it so that it will last as long as it, it possibly can. We're gonna measure out our water content first. So I'm gonna take my big Pyrex glass and I'm gonna do 459 grams of water. But you know what? I always like to put a splash of aloe vera. I'm gonna replace a little bit of my water content with aloe vera. Mmm, it's gonna make it super luxurious. All right, so we'll just do like you know, 100 grams, maybe. 100 grams of aloe vera, nice. And then we're gonna use some distilled water for the rest of our water content, up to 459 grams. Perfect. And this is a vegetable glycerin. I found this on Amazon. We're just gonna put 22 grams of that in there. 22 grams. And glycerin is a humectant and it will just draw moisture from the air into your skin, leaving it soft. Okay. And then we'll just give that a little stir. And that's it for my water content. Aloe vera, glycerin, water. Bam, done. Okay, so next we're gonna do our oil content, okay? For the oils, I'm gonna measure them all out together in this jar and we're gonna warm them up together. 
We're gonna start off with 30 grams of sweet almond oil. I picked this up at my local Hobby Lobby, so you can probably find it somewhere near around you too. 30 grams. I'm gonna do 10 grams of jojoba oil. And jojoba oil is a really nice light oil that just is, it's like exactly like the same kind of um, oil that our body naturally makes. So it just blends in seamlessly. It, it doesn't leave a, a oily residue behind. So that's why I like to use this one. We're just gonna do a little bit. We're gonna do 10 grams. And it has a little bit of a yellow color, but it won't mess up anything. By the time we whip this baby up, it's gonna all be creamy, white, and fluffy. Next, we're gonna do 30 grams of coconut oil. This baby I picked up at Costco. Everybody has like a Costco, maybe even a Big Lots or any place like that. And you can get a nice big tub of coconut oil for really, really great price. So we're just going to scoop out 30 grams of your coconut oil. And it's really not that much. 30 grams is like an ounce. So that should really not be that much. Perfect. Now the star of the product is this shea butter. This shea butter is by Baraka Shea. And you can look up Baraka Shea Butter online and order this. And you can get them like in huge packages, like, you know, 11 pounds of the stuff. Um, or you can try even like a little sample packet like this right here. But this shea butter is so creamy. It's so luxurious. It's like nothing I've tried before. This one's really great. So we're gonna add 50 grams of this great shea butter right into the oils right here. 50 grams is a little bit more than the co coconut oil. So our scoop will be a little bit bigger. Next, we're gonna do our cocoa butter. And our cocoa butter we get from Amazon. These come into easy measure wafers. So I really love using these. We can just pretty much drop them in one at a time until we get to the ingredient weight that we're looking for. Okay, so we want 34 ounces of cocoa butter. And cocoa butter, my friends, oh, it's so luxurious. It's gonna give it that kind of thick texture that we're looking for it's gonna give us that extra like lock in the moisture properties that we want. I forgot to add in one of my favorite oils, my avocado oil, okay? So this one's really nice and deeply moisturizing. We're gonna do 50 grams of this one right here. And avocado oil you can get from Walmart, you can get it from Amazon. You can pick these up anywhere. These are simple ingredients that you can get literally all over the place. Now, one ingredient that's a little bit tougher to find is cetyl alcohol. You do not need to have this in your recipe, but it acts like a, a, a thickener. Um, it, it really gives it like a silky texture that I really enjoy in my body butters. And it, it really makes it kind of fluffy and light, and it also helps emulsify the product. So I'm gonna add in here 22 grams. And this is all going in here together, guys. 22 grams right here. The next ingredient that is also not necessary, but I really like to use it, is BTMS 50. And BTMS 50 is different than BTMS 25. I use the 50, this is also an emulsifying wax, and it helps to stabilize my oil to water uh, mixture. And I really like to add that in there. It also gives it a nice silky feel too. I'm gonna put 20 grams of BTMS 50 in here. I ordered this one from brambleberry.com, okay? It's a little bit harder to find. I think you can find it on Amazon. Probably Etsy too. So these are our two optional ones, Cetyl Alcohol and BTMS 50. Not optional is your emulsifying wax. You have to have an emulsifying wax. Otherwise, what happens with oil and water? They separate, right? <laughs> That's not what we want. We want to create this fluffy, moisturizing, creamy body butter. That's what we want. So it has to stay together. Um, so that's the difference between my product. It has that water, it has that emulsifying um, wax in there, and that is a secret to your body butter not melting in the summer heat. We are in Southern California. No way is a pure body butter with no water content gonna survive in this heat. Maybe not even in shipping. I want my amazing product to get to you in the same amazing way I shipped it out to you. Milliard's emulsifying wax is also available on amazon.com. You can also find emulsifying wax from some of your favorite cosmetic suppliers. We're gonna add in 33 grams of emulsifying wax. As you can see here, we have everything weighed out and ready to be melted. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 second intervals until it's all melted and completely clear and see-through. 
while my oils are melting, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how I melt my oils. I use a microwave to melt my oils, just to the point where the oils are clear. Like you can stir it and there's no like little chunks floating around. And there's a lot of debate whether you should do that or not. Like will the microwave microwave out all of the nutritional properties of the oils? So scientifically, I can't tell you, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But for the performance of my product, it feels amazing. So it really is a judgment call up to you what you feel comfortable with. If microwave is not for you, feel free to double boil your oils. Put them on the stove, slowly warm them up to the temperature where the oils will be completely clear and easy to stir and no clumpy clumps in there. It takes a bit longer to do it that way and I'm a mother of four and running a small home-based business, I just don't have time to stand over a hot stove waiting for my oils to melt. But if you do, that's totally fine. Do what feels right for you. Okay, so I've just microwaved my oils and my water. They're both at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna combine them together. Give them a quick stir. And pour the oil into the water. all of it together and then immediately stick blend it so we get that emulsification going. And this is just getting that emulsification to set up. Okay, so now that we got that initial like binding of the ingredients, I'm gonna pour it into an even cooler container. I wanted to kind of bring it down slowly so that we don't get any separation. Okay, and here we're gonna to continue to stick blend. I'm gonna let it cool down, maybe like two minutes or so. And then we're gonna keep giving it like, you know, 10 to 15 seconds of stick blending, probably every five minutes or so until we get to a temperature that we can add the preservative. Okay, it's about time to take the temperature of our body butter mixture. Once again, I'm gonna turn on my trusty, dusty digital thermometer. And this is just like a meat or candy thermometer just to get like the temperature so I know where we're at. Okay, so we're at about 140 degrees. I'm gonna give this another stick blend just to keep that emulsification going. I'm gonna measure out some of my preservative. It's from Essentials by Catalina. It's a paraben formaldehyde-free formula. Goes really great for my body butters, my lotions, any kind of emulsified item or anything that's got water incorporated with it. This is like perfect. And we're gonna use this at about 1%. So I'm gonna measure out 11 grams. Okay, so we're just gonna measure this straight into our mixture here and blend it in. It's gonna keep it fresh for a long, long time. Okay, so you can see it did kind of um, liquefy again, and that's okay. Don't be scared if your mixture gets right back to a liquidy state. It's going to set back up even more after it cools down for a bit. I'll let it set for maybe um, five more minutes or so, and then come back and give it another, you know, 20 seconds worth of stick blending. Okay, so it's been about two more minutes. I'm gonna take the temperature of my lotion again. I'm just curious to see how um, much it's cooled down. Okay, we're hovering about 118. I want to get down maybe like oh, 14 more degrees. So let's give it another spin. Okay, so one fragrance we're gonna do is this Bermuda Triangle, and we use this for our Tropical Sunrise fragrance, and this is perfect for the summer. We're gonna have a great summer moisturizer, a body butter that won't melt in the summer heat, and we're gonna pair it up with this awesome fragrance oil that smells like fruit, like pineapples and coconut and mangoes and just the, you know, perfect sit by the side of the beach, relax, toes in the sand. This is it, this is it right here. And our second half of this batch will be coconut shea. 
and this is for our mahogany shea scented body butter and it has like a coconut scent but a little bit of like a, a buttery nutty fragrance so it's really good for both female male kids the whole family it's a really like neutral scent okay so we want to fill these three jars so they're four ounces each so we basically want to do 12 ounces of body butter Okay, and 12 ounces of body butter, according to this, is about 350 milliliters. So we're gonna do three milliliters of fragrance oil for this one. So we're just gonna pour this back into this jar right here. 350 grams, basically, more or less. And in here, we're going to add three grams of Bermuda Triangle. And that gives us about 1% usage. And we're just gonna mix this up with our spatula just a little bit here. And this is a great way if you're doing multiple fragrances, don't scent the whole batch. If I was gonna scent the whole batch, I would have put it in there when I added in the preservative. But since I wasn't at the cool down phase, this is the perfect time to add it in there. Now we're ready to add this luxurious oil to our jars. And I'm just gonna pretty much just scoop it in there with the spatula. Here we go, look at that creamy, luxurious butter. That's what we've been aiming for with that shea butter, that coconut oil, that cocoa butter. Look at that. that is so moisturizing, perfect for your skin. We're gonna have a nice fluffy texture. Now keep in mind, um, this is gonna ship pretty pretty perfectly like you shouldn't have any issues of getting this to your customers okay so it's been about an hour or so and our jars have cooled down to about room temperature we can go ahead and take our lids and put them on if you're gonna make this recipe exactly the way I did it I would double it so that you would end up with because we got two and a half so you'd have five four ounce jars worth of body butter. It seems like it wasn't enough to fill up that sixth jar. So I would double it and that way you get five jars. I show you how to label these jars, these four ounce jars. They're really, really cute, perfect size. You can share them, you can use them for yourself, whatever you wanna do. All right, so if you do not have a laminator, I picked up some of these um, lamination sheets from Fellows. Uh, I believe I picked this up at Staples. And I just cut it to fit the inside of the Cricut uh, print area because it will not cut if it can't pick up this border and the border does not um, get red if it has a shiny uh, finish covering it. So I only cover the inside of that. So I'm just gonna peel off the backing and place it right on top of my labels. Kind of get it just inside. No bubbles, kind of do like a little roll effect there. There we go. That's pretty good, no bubbles. Now it's time to Cricut. Okay, now I'm just placing my labels on the Cricut mat to get ready to cut. Okay, so the Cricut is looking for the edge of that border like I was talking about. And luckily it's picking it up because we did not cover it with the shiny surface. Hey, and look how it follows the border of that label, cutting it out. So I don't have to do any cutting, that's what I'm talking about. But you could totally do this by hand, especially if there's a simple shape like a rectangle. Already cut out ready to go okay so this is my mahogany shea body butter all loaded up into the jar we're just going to take one of these stickers here my setting might be a little bit too thick that's all right and we're just going to take one of the stickers here and apply it to the jar all right so that vinyl and that um lamination sheet will give it the extra protection the jar the extra extra protection from um being you know covered in oil and things like that that's pretty good 
pulling it tight, just pushing it to the sides and get all the air bubbles out as you apply it to the jar. Same thing for this side. Oh, wraps all the way around. All done. Got two of them here. And that's pretty much the process that I use to package my body butters. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you that kind of like behind the scenes feel so you can kind of see the process that we go through to create our products. Definitely click the like button if you liked it and please subscribe if you wanna see more. We will always continue to add like fun, um, interesting videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can know exactly when we post something new for you guys to see. Check out our website, www.tiresessentials.com to order you some body butter for the upcoming summer months so your skin will look super healthy and vibrant. Thank you again for watching the video. Have a great day.